What is going on guys, this is Ben here, so as you all know the season has ended recently and with that comes the time to open up our draft chest. So in today's video we have a lot of gems, we're going to be basically doing another Mega Knight mini gem, ge uh, not gem hunt, but like mini Mega Knight gemming spree, because we only need 15 more of him to max him out, so it's, we're about like... A little over halfway there to get him to the like max level because I know you guys want to see a max level I personally want to use him as a max level so we'll be pushing hard for him uh, definitely leave a like if you guys want to see some big gem sprees again trying to get him our goal is to get Mega Knights and get legendaries uh, and also I'm very curious if you guys got over 4,000 trophies or 4,000 trophies and got a draft chest how was it did you get anything you wanted did you get any legendary so let me know down below and uh, i'm really glad a lot of you enjoyed yesterday's video with carla in it so that was a really fun one to edit and everything so i'm glad you enjoyed it and we're starting off really really nice here legendary right away <laughs> so hopefully if we start off good and get the mega knight and if we do not get a, like our, a mega knight from our draft chest i'm gonna be kind of disappointed because we have two chances so we're starting off this good, this game, or not this game, this video, really, really good here. <laughs> I had to cut it there a little bit, man. I don't even know what I said. <laughs> but all right, checking out the clan here, and uh, <laughs> look at Cole's message. I hate this game. He must have, uh, he must have had a bad experience with a match or something like that. I don't know. So I mean, that's pretty common with any games, though, where it's like, oh, I, I hate this game, man. Like after a, a result of like a loss or something. So. I'm gonna open up my first draft chest and then on my other account I'll hop onto that in a little bit. Hopefully, we get the Mega Knight. As you can see, I got to 5,500 really early in the season with like four or five days left. And I kind of just left it. I was mainly, I was focusing on my other account trying to get that to 4,600 trophies. I'll show you if that was successful or not. Uh, but this one, if I, I, I just needed to put in a lot of time to get it to champion. And I guess I just, fell off and used most of that time pushing my other account, my level 11. So that's why I'm only at 5,500. I feel as though I probably could have got at least a little bit higher. Uh, but sadly, there weren't, there wasn't a whole lot of um, ultimate champions this season. It just seemed like a down season for pushing, which in turn makes it obviously harder to push up as well. But uh, other than that, my battle deck so far that I'm trying to make out of this mate is not very good, but at least we're getting a legendary. I know some of you that are on the cusp of just like the 4,000 range to 4,300 range, the chance of getting legendary isn't really even that high, which is sad. I think every draft chest would have a, like a legendary no matter what. But hopefully, we have two chances to get this Mega Knight. Come on, Clash Royale. Give me the Mega Knight. Oh my goodness. I should have known that because you saw how it said extra gold at the bottom right away. That means like you're going to get a lot of gold because it's maxed out. But I don't even, I don't even have the gold because I currently have maxed out gold. Even though when I choose one of these options, it's going to say you have like less like 220k less than that i don't even know man well that sucks that was a very lackluster draft chest so our draft chest two seasons in a row on this account has been garbage man <laughs> i haven't been able to use it at all like last time it didn't even give me a cannon card i think actually no it was a cannon card yeah i don't think because i need two cards a cannon card and the night witch it didn't give me either it's like come on Clash Royale ripping us up with the draft chest even though they're free <laughs> but other than that we're gonna get to a battle here Hopefully we have some easy opponents early on. I know everyone just to get reset, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, but honestly, guys, season reset is probably the toughest time to trophy push. If unless if you if you like are kind of a little bit under leveled, because as you not as you guys know, like majority of the like the heavy hitters, the big level players get pushed back down, and that just makes it extremely hard. So I don't know. Usually I'd say wait a little while until a lot of people push back up. Um, to, if you're going really hardcore for trophy push, I seriously do not have anything to drop right now. I could throw on like a random balloon. What if he has like, I have no idea. What if he has like something that's gonna absolutely counter it, like minion horde or something? Um, I don't want to fireball this. Okay, thank God I did not throw it on the balloon. You see that, man? Oh my goodness, that could have been that would have been game right there. Well, not game, but it would have been extremely hard to come back from that. If I would have dropped the balloon, and oh my goodness. So it seems it might be like a really hog, like a fast cycle hog battle deck like with that Elusive Collector. Ah, uh, the Mega Knight just going in, doing work, dude. He's just gonna let it go take the tower. I'm gonna throw on the Goblin Barrel. The Zap is not gonna kill it. That's another thing that was really annoying on my level 11 account, is I kind of have like a little bit lower level Goblin Barrel. And while I was pushing up, I was facing people with max Zap. So no matter what, they would just zap my Goblin Barrel and there goes a negative elixir trade because my card is under level. I know you guys know the struggle because it's tough to get max cards and when you're, when you're dealing, like that made me realize like, oh my God, 
Trophy pushing when you're playing against people that are like basically just dominate you and level, it's so frustrating because it's so hard to kill their cards or their cards just like oh, completely obliterate yours. So I, I feel you guys. I'm really glad I opened, like I made the venture with that account and got me to like that range just to like open to my perspective to be like, yeah, it sucks when you face like basically higher level people or your cards are all leveled compared to those. Even though they're at the same trophy range as you, it's so annoying. So. Ben understands. Ben's with you guys. <laughs> but now that he dropped that, I haven't thrown on the balloon yet, so we're actually gonna go in here. It seems as though he's just. No, man. I don't really need to do anything. I could fireball now if I really need to, but the balloon just completely threw it off. I saved it until the right moment, so that minion horde was dropped, and we went in, so it kind of paid off. Um, and, and we got extra value with the balloon, too, because it took care of the princess. So we'll zap these, and it's looking pretty good. I should, I kind of want to go for the three crown, man. He's just dropping at the tower at this point. He's, he, I think is, I don't know. I think he's a little bit desperate, but I, I, I don't know. I think my battle act pretty much countered him pretty well. The Mega Knight just destroys Barbarians. I have the Mini P.E.K.K.A. for, for the Hog Riders if I need it. And I think our balloon is absolutely going to destroy his tower. So, Let's see if we can get it in time. We got three seconds. There we go. All right, we're good. Good game, man. He got a crown off of us, that's okay. I'll take the three count any day. Plus the 32 trophies. Silver chest. And now I'm excited to open up the silver chest. Because, like, getting... If you guys don't remember, I got that gold chest legendary. It's giving me a little bit of hope. To, like, hopefully one day get the silver chest. And all you guys' tweets um, for after that video. And I was like, okay, just tweet me maybe if you got a gold chest or silver chest legendary. And seeing all of your guys' tweets is like, oh yeah, okay, it is. It is it maybe a better possibility, but hey, there's a lot of you and only one of me. So the possibility of getting the silver chest legendary is very slim. But hopefully, <laughs> hopefully one day I can make the video saying, yes, we got a Mega Knight out of this silver chest. But that would have to be before I max it. So, I don't know. And I'll take it on any account, honestly, but can we continue the legendary streak? We can, so... <sighs> Draft chest did us nothing. Didn't get us the Mega Knight. Having to rely on the Super Magicals. Come on. Nah. The Lumber Troll. Oh my goodness. Well, so we're one for three on legendaries. Actually, no, one for four because we got the Graveyard Ice Wizard option. And then we had, now the Lumberjack. And then we did get the one Mega Knight, so... I don't know guys, we'll, we'll, we'll open up this last Super Magical and then we'll head over to the other account, open up our next draft chest, and just see, see if we can continue the Mega Knight streak. Come on, at least we got legendaries on every chest. That's something to not complain about, and another legendary. That's four in a row. I don't know if I should go with the, for the legendary streak or not this video, we'll see. <laughs> oh, geez, stop trolling me with that, with the bandit hoodie, man. If you're gonna give me something that's like, has the dark clothing, or like the, uh, I don't know what, what, how to describe it, like, the outline, basically, make him the Mega Knight. Like, what is this? The Bandit's a good card, but I can't do anything with it right now, so, well, I can't, but it's not, it's not like, it's, it's just throwing away gold at this point, so, it's gonna be a struggle, guys. It's gonna be costly. That's why I really need to know. Let me know if you guys wanna see me continue to push. So if you don't wanna open up a draft chest, you just basically force quit your game and restart and then quickly touch the tab on the bottom. So I know I've mentioned that a few times, and I, I'm just gonna state this too, I know it's a little late in the video, but guys, if I seem a little bit tired this video, I am, it's early morning recording this. So, I don't know, usually I record midday after I've like been out for a while, but hey, I wanted to get these draft chests done. I know I'm probably uploading this at night, but it's 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 Labor Day or it's a holiday, so it's, it's busy day. Custom chests, I still have this, and look at the top name, money equals win. <laughs> How many of you? How many of you think that's true? But yes, money can push you to the next level, but for tournaments, guys, that's where skill comes in. So I hopefully, in the future, I know I spend a lot of money here on the channel for you guys. That's mainly for you guys' entertainment, so you guys allow chest openings. Just basically, hopefully you guys enjoy that. But also for when challenges come around, to be the best that I can be. So hopefully Clash Royale focuses a little bit more on like these challenges, which they have been doing over the last few weeks and months, and that's awesome. So I'm really glad like the, cha like, the challenges are awesome because it brings everyone down to tournament level and basically makes it an even playing field and with great rewards so i'm really hoping for more tournament based stuff that they work on and everything so i don't know i'm excited though for this update coming in october they're making it seem out to be super super big you can see i was so close to the next season or the next uh arena which was 4600 trophies i was 4559 
Only two matches away. But I was just running into walls, man. I was trying a little bit different battle decks. I'll run into like someone that had like max cards and I just couldn't get over it. I think I needed, I stuck with the Goblin Barrel though. I think that was my issue. I needed to probably switch away from the Goblin Barrel because for whatever reason, for whatever reason, everyone I was running up against was using the Zap. And it would just be like, I couldn't even use my Goblin Barrel at that point because I'm gonna say somehow wasted the Zap on a different thing because they would just Zap it and get an instant free elixir pretty much, which is was making me mad. I tried trick goblin barrels. Didn't really work that the, the whole time, so I don't know. But oh yes, yes, yes. Dude, the last time I opened this chest, the same exact season chest, I did not get a legendary. So let's go. I know it's actually fairly rare on these chests down here. Oh my goodness, I'm so hyped for that. So hopefully we get a mega. I'll I don't even care. I'll take anything because this account needs a like basically every no. It needs every legendary. I don't have anything max. So come on, see if we can clutch up here. Mm, I'll, I'll take either one of those. They're both solid. I'm gonna take the Lumberjack to be able to upgrade that. So, Lumberjack, you're getting chosen to be level three. So, we're on a streak here. We're on five legendaries. Two draft chest legendaries. I'm excited for that, man. See if we can see if we can get any free ones. We got the, we got the Witch, I'll take that. <clears throat> you know my voice is going out too, a little bit. <sighs> Nothing. All right, so. With all that chest openings, I might, I feel as though I might hop on to see if I can continue the streak. Because one of these days, guys, I want to try and break that 15 legendaries in a row from chest streak. So, <laughs> um, I don't know. That's going to be a, it comes down a lot to wanting or getting lucky enough to where your super magicals don't become duds. Because as you guys have been seeing over the last, like, I don't know if you guys have been watching basically all my videos. I've been getting a lot of dud super magical chests, and what I mean by dud is like, no legendary. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully we get some legendaries, and don't have my mini P.E.K.K.A. just yet, so... I'm gonna have to throw it on the Mega Knight. See how they're gonna deal with this. Hopefully, what well, if he has... I have the arrows in here instead of the fireball. Just because it's a little bit different matchup here. <clears throat> Alright, well... I think he wasted a lot of elixir. He does have arrows. I don't think he's... I don't know, man. I don't think he has anything for my balloon. He does have the Musketeer, but if that gets dropped, I don't really think we need to worry about it. So actually, that was a wasted zap. That was not needed, but it's not like I'm going to be spending the Elixir anyways. <laughs> um, Robo, 99. What you want to do, bro? I'm throwing on the Mega Knight. I mean, the Mega Minions. They're so easy to, to mix up, man. Alright, Mini Pack on this side. I'm waiting for the, I'm basically waiting for that Musketeer to get dropped. Whatever side it gets dropped on, we're pushing the other side. All right, I guess we're going this way. Um, do I, do I arrow that? Nah, we'll just leave it. So the Ice Spirit, gonna hurt a little bit, but I think we should get the balloon there. Fireball's not gonna take it out. Oh, that Tornado, bro? All right, he wasted so much Elixir just to stop that balloon. Fireball, Ice Spirit, and Tornado. And sadly, I, I threw it on an aggressive Mega Knight because no. I don't know. I thought I would be able to get at least something there. We'll do a trick out barrel here. See if the arrows come out. We probably will. Alright, we missed two of them, so getting a little bit of chip in there. Actually, got a lot of chip in there. Uh, <laughs> more damage than I expected. But we'll probably see the hog rider again. Get our mini pecker ready. No? No? There it is. Alright. <laughs> I was just like, come on. What is, what's this guy waiting for, man? So we'll throw on our balloon, and the musketeer comes out. Let's see what happens. The zap taken out. Get their balloon, just okay. That's all we wanted. So now we just need to play hefty defense. Hog rider push inbound here. So we'll, we'll mega knight this side, and then throw the mega. This is like a double megas, man. It mixes me up sometimes. It's the mega awesome push, and we got a little. We're doing well on that the left hand side. I think he, I don't think he has elixir. Yes. So something got to hit off. I don't know whether it was our goblins or what. Oh, I almost misclicked that, 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 what? What was that? I don't even know what he said there. I almost misclicked that zap. <laughs> All right, but good game, dude. That was solid. Uh, yeah, he didn't really have a whole lot. A lot of people don't have balloon counters, which is weird. And if they do have the minion horde, which is my, absolutely hate that card, dude. I don't know, I don't get it. Like. That card just, even though I, I run arrows now because it just, 
I, I just hate it. I don't know. <laughs> That's the reason why arrows are in here instead of the fireball. At least at this trophy range, because everyone seemed like there was a match. I, I swear to God, no lie. Absolutely, I cannot. I cannot joke about this. I'm pretty sure it was like ten matches in a row when I was pushing that they all had the minion horde, and this was when I had the fireball in. So I was like, okay. This is getting absurd. I think I, I went this, took this on too long enough. The fireball is a counter to the minion horde, but it needs to be for like all their stuff too. So I was like, all right, I'm just gonna switch this fireball and put in arrows. And then as soon as I switched to the arrows, I faced like no minion hordes whatsoever. It was so annoying, but I played so many matches yesterday. I don't even know, I was, I was getting frustrated, dude. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, am I the only one? You cannot tell me that I'm the only one that feels that way. It's like. You face the same battle deck or same similar style of this battle deck that you just can't counter over and over and over again. And then when you do make the proper adjustment, Clash Royale comes in just like, nope, not we're not having that. You're gonna basically struggle against this battle deck now and you're not gonna face that other one at all. It's like, come on, dude. Why you gotta be dirty like that, Clash Royale? So, this guy's got the Inferno Tower. Um, do I wanna zap? Do I wanna waste the zap this early on? No, Mega Knight wouldn't even get there anyways. Uh, he, he probably would have got his jump off, but we're gonna have to wait till double extra to basically do. Oh, I could have Electro Wizard, but the Electro Wizard wasn't in in my inventory in my opening hand at that moment in time. So we'll throw on the Electro Wizard now. Ooh, the Giant Skelly. Hopefully the mini pack can get some good hits off. I can take care of that <laughs> because I don't want to have to deal with a Giant Skelly. Giant Skeleton coming to my side and just destroying me. I don't think it will get there. Uh, this is going to be close. The tower should take care of it. Yes, it's before it got in range. Okay. I have to wait for that bomb to go off and then drop the Mega Knights. Take some Fire Spirit damage. We would have took that damage anyways. So we're going to throw on the balloon this time. We have a little bit more elixir. We're going to zap it. It's not that far of a path to get there. So the balloon and the Mega Knight damage should take care of this. Sadly, they're, they're parting their ways, and the balloon's gonna die, but the Mega Knight should still be alive. Okay, that worked out better than I thought. We're getting some decent tower damage in there. I think I can arrow that princess. I, I don't think he's really got anything that I need to worry about. He's got the... He doesn't have minion horde or anything. Well, at least that we know of. He could. But you think he, you think he would have dropped that by now, correct? So we'll throw on our Goblin Barrel. I think that is our first Goblin Barrel. He probably has a log or something. Ooh, he's got arrows. <laughs> he missed the arrows a little bit, so that was that was solid for us. Uh, the, oh, he does. He does. Okay. I made the the uh, the incorrect or the incorrect assumption that he didn't have the mini horde, but you think he would have dropped it like for the balloon? Maybe he just thought his inferno tower would take care of us completely. Oh, that's electric. That's electric wizard range right there. So once that locks on, bam! Just completely silence it. And that's a little bit of a mystery, guys. When you're playing someone that you want to be careful where you place that electro, like they're not electro, it's an inferno tower, so that doesn't happen. And I did waste the arrows on the princess again because I'm not really scared of his minion horde right now. Uh, for the fact that I have my electro was on rotation and electro was right there and a zap, so I think they were looking pretty good. If I need to, I can electro wizard though. Yeah, I'm just going to for that princess. I don't think that was totally necessary. Oh, time's almost up. That's what happens when I don't play with game sound. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 need, I have a bad habit of not looking at the clock because I rely so heavily. You would think, because a lot of times I don't play with game sound, you would think like, that just like, is a trigger like, oh yeah, Ben, you need to look at your clock, but. So we did all right. We got a lot of chest. I think I'm gonna hold off for getting the, uh, trying to go for the streak today. Uh, but let me know if you guys like to see that in the future. Some more Mega Knight gems for you. Trying to get that bad boy maxed. Definitely let me know if you like to see that. But also let me know how your draft chest was. And uh, what was your season high this season? What did you get for trophies? Uh, whether you got a draft chest or not. Let me know if your pushing was successful. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you did. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.